What's up crew? This is how I make my shredded chicken in my Instant Pot. I've got five large chicken breasts. I've got a measuring cup for afterwards. That's gonna help keep it moist throughout the week because this is my meal prep, so make sure you stay tuned. And then just whatever favorite seasoning you have. I'm gonna be using Creole today because as you know, I love spicy food and this is my favorite. So you're gonna start by putting the chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. Again, I've got five large chicken breasts and then I put two cups of water in there. Use two cups of water regardless whether you have four or five or six chicken breasts, it's all the same. You wanna heavily season it. You can see here how much I actually add into it that keeps it flavorful. A little tip, if you get bored eating the same thing over and over, maybe pick a generic seasoning so you can change what you do with this chicken throughout the week. I set it for 18 minutes and I leave it and I come back to it. When it goes off, the screen should say L10. I got distracted, so it actually said L20, so it sat there for a little while. Um, it's usually fine, it's pressurized, and it's sitting in water so it doesn't get too dry. But you should take it out when it says L10, that's the natural release method. And then you come and release the valve, open up the lid, and then we're ready to shred. Okay, so the easiest way to shred, I really like this kitchen hack, is you use your KitchenAid mixer, and I use the bread mixer, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, I don't bake a lot, as you can tell. So all you have to do is empty out your chicken into your mixer, and you can see that there's quite a bit of water, and we're gonna use that later, but all you gotta do is transfer it over, um, and then what, I would suggest is covering this with a towel. I've had a chicken breast slide out almost onto the floor, so you wanna make sure it's covered. Plus, it keeps the steam off of your face and that can be splashing some hot juices on your face, which is not awesome. So, yep, you just turn it on for a little bit. Yep, it should shred your chicken just like that, beautiful. Now, this will be a little bit warm, so use a towel when you're dumping your chicken into your tub or. And then, like I said, a tip to keep this moist throughout the week I'm gonna use the measuring cup and get the leftover water from the Instant Pot and I'm gonna dump it into the shredded chicken. I find that this helps keep it moist and I don't get that really dry chicken taste. Um, again, five chicken breasts, this is for me and my husband. This lasts us probably about four to five days. So if you don't like the way it tastes by the end of the week, maybe cook less so that you're not dealing with that. Here's one of my favorite meals. I like a protein bowl. Um, protein bowls are really, really easy. All this is, is there's chicken in here, jasmine rice. This is my Mexican flavored one, so I used red onion, I used some mushroom, there's some guacamole. I even put in some pinto beans and some salsa. You really just focus on the protein, get enough protein in there that you need, pick a carb, a few vegetables that you love. This is awesome for when you have kind of a little bit of random items in your fridge. You just toss it into a bowl or a tub aware and you, it's easy to eat on the road or at your desk when you're working from home. And voila, you're all done. I even threw some salad on top so I could get some greens in there. So hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and hope you enjoyed.